this is Sam from Cocktailions.com, and I'm coming to you from about 36,000 feet over southern Nebraska on Virgin America Flight 27. What I wanted to talk about today is that you can get a cocktail on an airplane. They're usually highballs. You can get rum and coke, you can get vodka and Bloody Mary mix, you can even get whiskey and ginger ale. But with just a little bit of prep and some advanced planning, you can take your in-flight cocktails to the next level. So, I brought a little kit along. Some lemons, some vermouth, some bitters, and uh, assorted fruit. And then, uh, with the help of a friendly flight attendant or two, you can get some. You can get your ice, your mixers, your booze. Um, so let's start. I was thinking a first, a good first drink might be a Tom Collins. So I brought a lemon wedge. I'm just gonna squeeze my lemon wedge into an empty cup. Let's do another one. Let's do half a lemon. Okay. And uh, got some sugar. Comes with the coffee service. A little bit of ice. Gin. And this coffee cup isn't a coffee cup. It's the top half of a Boston shaker, a Logan Airport Boston shaker. Goes right into my cup. Shake it a bit. I can strain that into a new glass. Add some seltzer, and there we have a nice Tom Collins. Not bad. We're going 500 miles an hour. We can do brown liquor drinks too, though. Let's try a little bit of something in my uh, shaker here. Let's try a uh, let's try a Manhattan. This particular airline doesn't serve bourbon, but they do have Jack Daniels, which will do. Pour a little too much Jack Daniels because I only have one miniature here. So I've got my Jack. Small bottle of uh, Angostura bitters. This is where the uh, this is where the, some of the prep comes in. Another small bottle of the Carpano Antica Formula Vermouth. Actually here. It's a small. My, uh, my handy stirrer slash muddler, uh, courtesy of the airport Panda Express. Garnish for Manhattan, of course. A maraschino cherry. This is a homemade maraschino cherry that I kept along with me. So, an in-flight Manhattan. Not bad. It's hard to find good vermouth on an airplane, so bringing your own is something I definitely recommend. Maybe one more drink. I was thinking about a, uh, thinking about maybe uh, an old-fashioned, since we have a little bit more whiskey left. First, pre 
already prepared orange twist. Another packet of sugar. Just putting that orange twist right in on top of that with the, uh, with the zest side down, the pit side up. dashes of bitters. Going back to my Panda Express muddler, and I'm muddling this right on top of that sugar to kind of release those orange oils. Bruise the uh, orange zest a little bit. And incorporate the bitters into that. And now all I'm going to do is add the rest of the whiskey. Another good slug of whiskey here. And a nice big ice cube. And uh, traditional garnish. Got an orange slice. Another cocktail cherry. This is old fashioned, but it's still in the jet age. So just think of this uh, not as an airplane, but as a cocktail lounge um, that, you know, that has, has its own designated drivers up front. It's got a hefty cover charge and uh, it's got the best bouncers on earth. But anyway, from seat 19D to you, happy flying.